the Equinox Gateway opened a powerful flow of solar cosmic Christ energetics. It is glorious and continues to amplify and pour into the grid systems. The return of the Christ energies will be fully anchored by the eclipse on April 14th and then steadily increase the demand for peace within and without. It is a divine service to all of humanity. Please remember that as the timeline split sensation grows more intense. April holds challenging energies and opportunity for divine mastery indeed. The great cosmic Christ light pouring in since the equinox amplifies our experiences and our ascension process. It not only activates heart centers for Christed states of consciousness, it activates a long-awaited prophecy of our divine human birthright. Experiences of elevation and disharmony are both amplified. Let us remember that the volume is being turned up on disharmony in order to create peace. Prepared hearts feel their Christ returning, while fearful hearts may clutch at the familiar as it crumbles beneath them. It is the light frequency itself which creates the separation of love and war, peace and violence, harmony and disharmony. We begin the passage of the great sorting out of personal choices, a stronger experience of self-judgment day. In the past, our planet could not hold more than a few embodiments resonating at the Christed state. Celebrate that we are entering the era of many embodiments, leading to an entire planet of Christed beings. Feel the prophecy coming into our reality at last. You may choose to embody this light if prepared to do so. It is available for you to receive. It is magnificent. As more humans embody this light, choosing the higher path of ascension and a higher state of consciousness, the entire collective is affected. It will have a tremendous effect on the evolution of consciousness, accelerating the planetary shift and the collective vibration. This light holds a pure photonic form, so the demand for order, peace, and harmony hits systems as well as individuals. When the volume is turned up, when the light reveals everything which does not belong in a golden age, we see what must be surrendered. Foundational structures we have built for ourselves in the old way suddenly dissolve. Let it be. Let things crumble a bit. It is part of your mastery journey to have faith in your own self as source power through this passage. Many have asked about stabilization of earth plates to prevent further earthquake activity. I keep receiving let it be. In the past, we were balancing old timelines and imposed grids of negativity. We are not dealing with that any longer. Our off-world brethren, master realm grid workers and gatekeepers are balancing the influx of cosmic Christ activation light along with Gaia's magnetic systems. Those in vortex or sacred site areas may notice the elevator effect, the great lifting sensations one day and pulling into the ground the next. Notice the threads of light looping through the grids during this passage. The planetary detox is well underway. Magnetics are shifting to accommodate the new light and stability becomes difficult. We cannot prevent shifts which must occur both globally and personally. Remain in your hearts to stabilize rather than imposing personal will over the divine will. Send divine love to all for balance and stability whenever you can and be sure to reinforce that within yourself. Activation comes in a relaxed state. Surrender the stress. It is a month for simplicity and releasing what does not align with where evolution is taking us. Stress can come from trying to fit the old paradigm into a new paradigm. 
Take a look at why you cling to things, ideas, beliefs, habits. Throw out old blueprints and agendas. Bridges from the old to the new may serve as we step into a new beingness, as long as we keep moving forward. Bridges are for crossing, not lingering. They are not permanent structures, and we cannot serve two masters. Putting down the cross so we may embody the truth. We are not carrying anyone else's journey, nor are we carrying the burden of our own. That includes the journey of the planet and the shift itself. We assist as needed while casting off all martyrdom and savior programs. Throw down the burden of the distorted old cross. Do you see the cosmic symbols playing out here? Equinox Light Code showed us every version of the ancient symbol of the balanced solar cross, symbols that have been in our history for hundreds of thousands of years. We drop all distorted crucifixion dynamics and those symbols at the same time we have the return of the true Christ activating, followed by a grand, balanced cross in our planetary chart. It is showing us the revelation of truth in a very direct way. Please release all agreements and entanglements with drama. They do not serve the embodiment of your divine birthright. The zero-point mirror is very close now. It may be difficult for some who have followed rather than self-empowered to watch other embody these new levels of light. All is well, and your personal free will choices are always honored and amplified on your behalf. When things become challenging, remember you are larger than all of this. Hands on the heart center. Tell yourself, I love you. Feel it. Know it. When things crumble which do not serve your journey any longer, surrender in your mastery and affirm, I am larger than the external illusion. I am larger than the experience of lower self. I am larger than circumstances or temporary challenges. I am larger than the shift itself. I am divine love. I am divine light. I am divine will. Observations on this prophetic passage. I am sure the light tribe can feel the intensity of it building, building, building all of this cosmic light since the equinox. April is riddled with cosmic triggers and this particular passage can trigger emotions as well. It is designed this way on purpose. We have opportunities for deep inner growth and self-empowerment if we honor this light and its divine effects. I am blessed and grateful to be a fifth, sixth dimensional gatekeeper. I get to share when new waves of light will be anchored onto the planet, and I get to see higher realm creations, heaven, and mastery retreats, and interact with those assisting us during the shift in consciousness. To be honest, I could spend all of my days in gate work. It is fascinating to assist with bringing in something brand new into this reality, effects that it has on the shift. In my experience, this current wave of return of solar cosmic Christ is the most profound wave we've had since the 121212. When incoming energies and gateways align, utilizing cosmic events or triggers to amplify the dimensional shift, it can become very physical. Since the days prior to equinox a couple of weeks ago, I have had the deep drowsiness of a strong gateway. This has been a long stretch, a few weeks rather than days, and there are many moments when I have no choice but to lay down. I understand that many people are experiencing this right now because this particular wave 
is providing deep resets to the physical. I have spent many nights in deep blackout sleep for 8 to 12 hours at a time. I feel more rest in solitude coming up, a deep rewrite, which will require undivided attention. You may hit this as well. My higher guides, my higher levels, are referring to this as a resurrection gateway at this time. It's a stretch, a period, all the way through mid-June, when a significant shift will be made, and we still don't know how that will unfold on the collective consciousness. I speak directly to and for the collective who is choosing to ascend. Besides the typical brighter with eyes closed than with eyes open experience, this return of the Christ light is dissolving the veils between the lower self and the higher self. The image of my higher self, which has been projected into my awareness over the last few years, has been very helpful in our reconnection. My higher self has appeared as a light being, sometimes appearing as the gigantic galactic self for emphasis. However, when close instruction is needed, my higher self projects in a close to grounded human size. Higher self shows up like a coach, showing me this is how you hold your hands, or this is the symbol we're using right now, or go here, go there, this is what we're bringing in, etc. Since my equinox activation, my higher self appears as my Christed self and is showing me the intensity of its radiance. As I welcome the merge, the light can be blinding in meditation. My divine team is brighter as well. It is beginning to look like the radiance I experience in heaven or a master's home, right here on our earthly plane, every day. This is the effect of the solar cosmic light anchoring into our perception. We are adjusting to the radiance of our true self and the higher realms as the reality of the ascended planetary consciousness anchors. Gaia is luminous in her fifth dimensional aspect, and so are we. A few might misinterpret those vibrating beams of radiance as something outside of themselves. If you are consciously ascending, it is you reuniting with your divine aspects at last. We must learn this as the false perception of separation comes to a close. It may take a while for folks to accept their own divinity, their own power. With ascension comes responsibility, and that can be difficult for some. It has been a long road of outside of self assistance, as if we had no direct connection to our personal divinity. That illusion is over, and the faster we embody the true self, the Christ itself for some of us, the brighter this collective reality will become. The energies of April are focused on throwing down the old cross and engaging with divine alignment, from distortion to cosmic perfection, if we choose that experience. The return of the Christ light changes the way I interact with my higher self. I am consciously choosing to welcome forth my Christ itself and teaching this in my ascension course. This is the beingness I chose to take on prior to the 12-12-12. This is why many are aware that we have already ascended and we attune our perception in the time-space lag of density to that truth. Because of our choices and engagement with the ascension process, we are merging with that higher expression. For me personally, I experience parts of my consciousness disappearing, merging up into that higher beingness during major gateways. Each time I wonder, how will we function while walking in both worlds so consciously? But that's all part of the mastery journey now. Treat it as such. Stay fascinated with the uniqueness of this experience, with the uniqueness of your own experience, and you'll have a much easier time of it. Unfortunately, the division of realities on the ground becomes wider, and this will probably be our biggest mastery challenge when the dimensional energies shift in June. 
despite how physical the activations are, despite our huge experiences, it is still not visible to the untrained eye. This is not unfamiliar. It is something that every master has to endure. It is what it is. The solar cosmic Christ activation, which I received during the equinox, continues to be extremely physical. The dramatic, constant movement, light, shifting, pain, popping, vibrating, and expansion in my heart center is overwhelming at times. There is a lot going on in there. I do comfort the body often and stop everything as I breathe through some of the more dramatic and blissed out expansions. When it gets intense, I remember what embodiments of the crystalline consciousness will do for the shift. In the Ascension course, we utilize commands and decrees to retrain the lower levels. Most mastery programs do this. It has been around for a long time. Commands and decrees assist the lower mind to consider other patterns of thought and divine power and eventually align with them. Currently, the new light is using encoded phrases like I am the resurrection and the life to provide revelations of the cosmic Christed state. As we wash the residue of religion off of our consciousness, we begin to experience the pure essence of these phrases. We are not commanding a new identity to be imposed upon our personal identity. It is not personal. There is no identity associated with the I am state. It is not me, nor you, nor any other being or master in that statement of I am the resurrection. Rather, it is a pure source light, the pure presence of source flowing through the conduit of our life stream without inhibition, judgment, worthiness issues, or egoic embodiment. It is an entire divine template creation, a pure state of source incarnate. When we abandon waiting on divine intervention and focus on a commitment to serving as a conduit of divinity, we emanate divine love, divine will, and divine light in a powerful way. As this return of the Christ energy comes in, there is great support for a point of revelation where you feel the attachment to your identity leaving, a surrender to the divine. As attached as we all are to the visions we've seen of our higher selves or our multidimensional expressions, I feel it is best to let all of that go. I know I said this last summer that we need to let go of our identification with galactic master or angelic selves or titles and beliefs of the past. Many are getting challenged by what they thought or felt they would be doing, where they are headed, or how all of this is going to unfold. First contact can be distracting. Feel free to take it down a notch if you want to explore the return of the Christ energies right now. Beings and star family are showing up now because of the frequency shift and because it is absolutely fascinating to watch us transform. They want to show support, which is lovely, but sometimes we desire to be in the experience of the moment. There is a level of revelation that is available to us which will deepen your understanding of what the solar Christ consciousness truly means. Not just for you personally, but its presence on the planet at this time. Feel into this. It is not something I can honorably describe in words at the moment. Closure, Ending Crucifixion Programs This passage provides opportunities for closure on all of the old beliefs, habits, judgments, and control programs. The Power Over Others programs were our agreement and are now our responsibility to deactivate and deprogram. The photonic demand for order requires every individual to release judgment of everything which has occurred here 
so it will not be co-created by any of us any longer. It has been hundreds of thousands of years of collective experience. It is over, and everyone is released from blame. Get off the cross. This frequency of resurrection recognizes and honors source intelligence returning to your awareness after a very long absence. It does not linger in the past, recreating what was, so there is no point in ruminating over what happened. We are merging with spirit, all that is, not all that was. Spirituality becomes integrated. It is not something we do on Saturdays, Sundays, during a morning meditation, weekend workshop, or activation call. Spirituality becomes you, your life stream, consistently expressing love, harmony, balance, peace, divine light, divine will, moment by moment. We retrain ourselves to be presence. Surrender includes finding and feeling that source presence within. The divine return knows love consistently and strives to increase it, radiate it forth in each interaction. Conversation as an expression of love of source. Food ingested as an expression of love of source. Interaction with water, plants, the kingdoms as expression of love of source. Your presence here as an expression of divine love blessing everything. When I wrote back in 2012 that self-love was the checkmate move in the end game, this is what I meant. Self-love is an expression of love of source itself and will increase as we welcome it forth consciously each moment. Nothing can control or penetrate that vibration. It is the resurrection and the life. It is not a person, not an individual expression. It is the pure power of source consciousness. To consciously amplify it and express it as best we can, and it does take practice, is our greatest act of service. Everyone has roles to play and different missions, but our purpose is unity with all that is. If your service or your mission does not resonate with where you are going, let it dissolve. This new light supports perceiving the truth. Many of us have seen our star family or guides pushing through the veils to reveal eyes, hands, entire bodies in our physical eyes open space. Some of these activations may appear as a wall of light or field of energy which gets closer until it surrounds and overwhelms you. You may fall asleep right afterward or as it approaches. Personally, I find going unconscious, going to sleep, more comfortable. For the most part, I cannot remember what happens while I am unconscious or asleep during those two to three hour periods after that energy washes through me. I am trusting every inch of this journey because that is part of my own mastery challenge. No fear, no doubt, no disharmony. Here in the hypercharged passage of April, it is the perfect time to bring all of the old mind level, have to understand everything completely games to a close. Every time the mind wants to hold a concern or the emotions want to reassemble a frustration or a doubt, I drop into my heart space and feel the truth shining within. I feel the divine love surging through this planet, myself and all that is, and I absolutely love the experience of it. All of it turns to love. All of it has divorced spiritual ego, that false sense of empowerment which comes from judgment rather than the purity of presence. Even when I sense overwhelm with everything this passage holds, the gateways, the return of the Christ frequencies, 
the solar heart activations, the revelations, the resurrection, first contact, walls of light, the sleepiness, the living situation, the physical intensity, the squeeze on the collective. It is all overcome by deep gratitude for this experience of transformation. Tears of gratitude welcome this divine return. Many blessings to all of us during this divine resurrection gateway 